welcome back to Kabino Games and it's time for a Guardian Siege battle. And today we are battling Playthings, Candy House, and we're coming from the Boss Hotel. Let's go straight to the action. We have a tower here from Candy House that's going off cooldown. Red 10 and it's a base full of these. It's a Kumun, Orion and Savannah tower. Let's go attack it. We're gonna bring in our very own Thessarion, Perna and Tetra. With the resistance lead, we should be Gucci. We will be at the mercy of the Orion if that harmless prank went crazy. Oh wow, that, that Kumun is doing a lot of damage. Yeah, let's go Oblivion the Savannah. Prevent her from doing the defense breaks. And then let's go snipe it with Flame Nova. Alright, and automatically that's going to be a 3 versus 2. Yeah, they do build their Orions on violin. Um, everyone's on violin. The Kumun's on violin. We just saw him proc. All right. Yep. Nonetheless, you know, uh, at the end of the day, at these high top tier siege battles, you know, everything is more often than not on violin because the procs can just really go crazy. Three versus one. All right, GG. Okay, now let's see what our guildies are bringing against these OP defenses. All right, we got Genlai here with uh, Veladuel, Belenus, and Rika. Next up, we got Adito with a Bulwark, Emilia, and that's his Kogul. Alright, there goes Gang Lai. There goes Addy. Okay, Gang Lai again on the attack, this time with a Thessarion, Vigor, and that's a Leo. We have another target here on Red 11. Let's go attack this one. This time we'll bring in our Bulwark, Emilia, and our Vampire Skogul. All on shield. Ow! That's going to be very dangerous for our Emilia. Good thing she has that passive that puts the defense on her. Mm, we're not gonna heal up. But we will be at the mercy of the Savannah now. Goes for the critical link. Alright. We're gonna cleanse that. Whoa, the harmless prank. There goes the gigantic roar. Let's go lower the health of this Orion. Let's see how much damage our Atlas Stone will do. Okay, and that's fine, that's fine. The Kumun did hit onto our Skogul. I think we have like another turn before we are able to throw the Atlas Stone here. Okay, no, no. Atlas Stone again. They are proccing like crazy. Let's go cleanse that. Let's continue to work on the Komun here. So the shield goes to him. Wow, two turns every turn on this Savannah. No violent proc for the Orion. Alright. Wow. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> They are all proking and proking. Oh man, do we have Atlas Stone? Yes, we do. Oh man, she's so angry, isn't she? Okay, uh, let's go freeze. And then heal up a bit. But this Atlas Stone is going to kill for sure. Alright. Oh man. But the procs are going crazy, ladies and gentlemen. 
Now let's go see what our other guildies are bringing in against this OP RNG Orion defense. But you know, Savannah is just really nice. All right, we got here Steve with that Sejon, together with a Leo and a Vanessa. We got Pete with a Olivia Bulldozer and Lulu. All right, let's go attack this one again. I don't know. Let's see. This time, let's bring in our very own Kumun, Wusa, and Fang Yen. We should be able to outspeed this violent Orion. Now, let's go bring and put on our Wish of Immortality here. And yeah, since the RNG is going crazy, let's take it a little bit slower. But here comes the Orion. <laughs> okay, Valen Fox once again. Now, it depends on what team you're bringing against this defense, but I'm gonna go work on the Savannah right now because I have Soul Devour on the next turn. Oh, not enough. Yeah, I'm gonna continue to work on the Savannah because, you know, when we lose immunity, she can put defense break and may be able to snipe our uh, what do you call this our Fong Yen. but good thing we are lucky to get the Valorant Prox nonetheless we did bring in a very tanky team against this defense oh but yeah see the Val I mean if this Orion goes violent crazy oh look at the damage coming from this Komun okay shields You see what I'm saying? I mean, because the Orion does have that run run um, probability to proc another turn, right? That's like an innate, whatchamacallit, an innate uh, violin on his first skill. Nonetheless, yeah, they don't have heals. And we do have heals coming from our Rusa and um, the Kumun, right? So. Can we kill? Just a little more. Yeah, we have to play it safe because this Orion can proc again and there goes the harmless prank. Okay, nice damage and kill on that Kumun. Oh man, so many Orions and Savannas, huh? OP defenses from Candy House, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, and there goes the base. Next tower is Red 10 and it's full of these Kumun, Iris and Beast Monks. Now here's Coconut with a Bulldozer, Emesity and Belenus. Nice team. Here's Jin Yao with a Garo, that's a Draco and a Masha. Let's go attack this one. I'm thinking let's play around with our Gianna. So we'll bring our Sierra together with the Gianna and how about our very own No, I'm thinking Savannah Right Our Gianna should be able to cut in Stun them Gianna for the uh, What do you call it? Strips, the bombs, right? And then Savannah for the defense breaks and Attack power reduction should be good right as long well yeah definitely oh but Pete's on the attack okay let's see what they brought in that's a dark Dalsim together with a Rika and that's a Rakuni okay next up here comes Shinya with a Laika Rocky and Helena all right next up we got Brito with the uh, Wow, that's a Neptis Han and Poseidon. Okay, there goes Jin Yao. Man, yeah, because Iris is gonna strip and then the Beast Monks are gonna do Beast Monk things. And 
Yeah, that's a really nice defense from Candy House. Next target is on red 8, and it's a base full of these Zenobia, Shaina, and Martina. Yep, it's so scary, especially with that Martina over there. Well, let's go outspeed it. We have our Galleon, and then a slow Lucian, plus, of course, our Dova. Oh, but LD Nat 5 or no pack is attacking. Let's go see what she brought in here. Bring in her very own Zenobia, Shaina, and Martina. Okay, next up we got Addy with the Fire Twins and the Jultan. Hey, that's a nice counter too. We should try that one of these days. But first, yep, Lucian, Dova, and Galleon. Oh, wow. Okay, good thing we were able to cut in there. These twins seem to be on a tank build because they weren't able to kill the Lucian. Yeah, definitely a tank build. Oh, violent tanks. <laughs> oh no, this is very dangerous. Uh, can we kill this Martina though? Well, but... Okay, nice violent proc. Yeah, because even though, yeah, even if, say, we tried to go for the kill, I mean, yeah, we would still have been able to cut in with our Dova, but, yeah, it's a, it's a fast, tanky build, all on violent, and, yeah, fast. Or was that Martina on, I think Martina was on Swift or something. Most probably, right? Now, more of these uh, Kumon and Iris. That's a nice defense. That's a Guka. GC on your Guka. Also, a Dark and Bison, right? Well, let's see what our guildies are bringing here. We got A with the Luis. That's a Gani and Rika. Okay, and then LD Nat 5 or no pack with a Luis, Rika, and Skogul. Let's go attack the Gunka over here. We're gonna bring in our Galleon, Tiana, and our Light Chun Li. Street Fighter versus Street Fighter. Yeah, Gunka with the Ruler of Pain. The question is can we kill? Let's see. Because we will get the first turn with Wind of Changes from our Tiana here. And we are pretty speed tuned. You know, we have high, you know, the Galleon is plus 160 speed. And as long as we get the defense breaks, of course. Defense breaks, please. Okay, very good. Now, spinning bird kick. How much damage with full defense breaks? We do have that passive nerfed, but as long as we get the slow. Oh ho hoi! <laughs> nice! <laughs> yeah, boy! G unit represented! <laughs> Alright, here's Stylo with a bulldozer that's a immensity together with the second awakened Elusia. Oh man! Alright, that was Gucci. That was, that, those are good things against this defense. I mean, so many beast monks ever since the patch ladies and gentlemen the beast monks are back okay hitting playthings now it's a base full of these Komun, clara and savannah meta defenses we got here chung with the double pandas fang yen shang fei and camilla okay let's go attack this one now we got a laika and I'm thinking Helena and Molly. Alright, should be good. Let's go! Still RNG in mercy of the Wheel of Fire. No stuns, no defense breaks, and that's good. Although we were on immunity. Oh, we have to put a shield on the Laika here. Okay, Helena. 
we need defense breaks and we need you to absorb attack bars please swaying flame let's go do it come on RNG okay looking at the attack bars I'm thinking who should we attack next well I think we should go stun this Clara oh nice violent proc swaying flame and now let's go kill this Clara and then justice onto the moon oh not enough well yeah we do have attack break or yeah at the attack debuff but three versus one yeah yeah that was a good violent proc for sure nonetheless yeah we put our Leica on immunity right and we kind of lower down his attack so we still have to make him a bit stronger uh, but nonetheless yeah that's good OP defenses from playthings definitely meta now let's see who's attacking here we got Stylo with a Fang Yen Villagerel and that's a Basalt Next up, we got Granzi with a Jean, that's a Diana and a Leo. And we got A also with a Jean, Leo and a Diana. Okay, there goes Stylo. Let's see how they do it here. I okay, just remember, we only show you the attacks that actually work. And yep. I don't know what happened. Yeah, he won. And there goes the base. Okay, more of these beast monks once again. Two wins, four losses. Three wins, three losses. Zero wins, three losses. All from Coconut. Okay. Here's Brito. That's a Bulldozer, a Messity, and a Second Awakened Lulu. Seems to be a good offense against this defense. Uh, this time Stylo with a Bulldozer, a Messity, and a Lucia. Seems to be good too. And here's A with a Laika Wusa and of course a Galleon. Oh, a nice defense, I mean nice offense from Lee. That's the Fire Ryu. Okay, let's go attack this defense. Let's test it out. We'll bring in our MST Bulldozer and the Lulu. Either Lulu or Elusha. Let's go Lulu just to be sure that you know we have immunity and heals. Okay. Not the fastest MST, but we should be faster. First to kill would be the Iris, mainly because she does have the strips and we don't want her stripping so full power punch nice snipe and now we have to battle the rng coming from this ritesh here yeah these riteshes are built also on violent for sure but the question is if i recall right i think the ritesh had or has the, sh the shields because he is packed with high hp and the common did have immunity at the beginning of the fight right yeah but yeah that's a valent proc or is that a full shield ritesh i don't know has he procced well it doesn't matter we're just waiting for the full power points to go off cooldown and then we're gonna go snipe the common because yeah ritesh is gonna be tanked by our lulu here and then the Lulu is just gonna keep putting up um, immunity for us. Remove and heal. Or is the Ritesh built on a full shield set? I don't know. I'm still waiting for a proc from this Ritesh though. Yeah, the increased defense now. 
Yeah, he hasn't healed, has he? Well, anyway, let's go snipe the Kumun. Nice, Sue. And then we just wait for the cooldowns again for a full power punch, and then we go snipe this Rikesh. Yeah, again, what really makes this defense good is, again, the Iris with the stuns and the strips. And then at the same time, you do have this Ritesh with a defense break and a speed crit damage HP Kumun who's going to just, you know, do a lot of damage. Especially if you are able to put a defense break on the enemies, right? I mean, you do have fire and a wind monster in the defense. Yeah, very elementally balanced defense. Nice team from our guildies. Alright, let's see how our guildies are doing in their attacks. We got A, we got Brito, we got Steve. And now we got here Brito again with the Wusa, Gani, and this time a Rika. A bit dangerous, but you will have to snipe that Iris. And he did bring in a Gani to reset the crit that Ritesh, right? So, OP Brito. Okay, onwards to the next tower. Once again, more of these Komun, Iris, and Ritesh defenses. Here's Chung with a Tessa, Perna, and that's a Tetra. Next up, we got Addy. This time, a Galleon, Laika, and his very own Second Awakened Lulu. Next up, we got Stylo with the Balagir QB and that's an Odin. Okay, nice teams. Well, it's a mix. Yeah, we got a Kumon, Orion, and Savannah. Let's bring in our Sierra Gianna. Yeah, I'm thinking we can bring our Gani here so that when our Gianna strips stun and then Savannah. Savannah should be able to put a defense break, reduce attack bars, and then we'll put a double bomb. Yeah, bomb on the Komun. Okay, but Lee's on the attack. Let's see what team he brought in here. Okay, he has a Rika, that's a Beth, together with the Belenas. Beth to two defense breaks, yeah. Now here's Steve, a Thessarian Perna, and this time a Molly. Yeah, snipe that Iris for sure. Okay, OP offensive teams from our boss guildies. Man, so many beast monks. Alright, we got here another defense combo. It's a Kumun, but this time with Ritesh and that's a Praha. Okay, we're bringing in our Luis together with our Rakan. Yes, already on Will. A bit lower on HP, but should be good. Gucci, you know. Um, and I'm thinking someone to give us with a defense break. Or someone to provide defense break and maybe a little bit of heals. I don't know. I'm thinking, how about our second awakened vigor, right? So that the vigor can put heal block on the Praha and then at the same time put a defense break, right? Belenis can also work, but then. If that Praha strips and then she's able to put, I mean, the Ritesh goes for the defense break and then this Kumon goes violent crazy, it might be a bit dangerous. Right? Yeah, playing with scenarios. Yeah, even if we bring in Villagel here, say, even, yeah, Praha is still gonna strip and we wouldn't have heals. And we need heals because the Praha has heals and the Ritesh has heals. Yeah, very interesting. I don't know. Let's go with that earlier team. The Vigor, Rakan, and our Luis.
With the HP lead, we should be tanky. Okay, we are faster with the Vigor. I don't want to buff up because, yeah, the predicted features come in. Now we buff up. And then I don't know who to first kill. <laughs> I'm thinking Retes, right? Mainly because he has that AoE defense break. But, yeah, we are water. So let's go break the defense of the Komun. Stun. Okay, now we speed up. How much damage can we do in the Komun? Oh, what was that? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, not enough damage. That what th that's what that was. Okay. Okay, nice Valorant block, but. Yeah, I don't know who to kill. I'm thinking, I'm still thinking Ritesh, right? She's gonna predict the future, so let's go shred onto the Ritesh. Stun. Yeah, but we got one more turn here. There comes the predicted future. Now we speed up. Put up immunity. Okay, collapse onto the Ritesh. Through the shield. 21,000 How much HP does that Kumun have though? Yeah, that's what makes the Wait Strips again Yeah, that's what makes the Beast Monks really good because they, you know, when they heal they cleanse themselves Oop Batteria sees. <laughs> no, don't give up just yet. We can do this. Uh, yeah, we'll wait for um, the defense break before we actually collapse this retest. Stun. Stun. No stuns, but we are getting procs. Yeah, I think the this Ritesh isn't on... Oh no, definitely on Violent too. I was gonna say no Violent, but... Yeah, let's go for... Let's kill the Komun, because the Komun is giving all those shields and we aren't able to collapse properly. And with that defense break, we should be able to kill. 29,000. Yeah, for the sake of what I'm gonna call it immunity yeah but don't get me wrong we are still um, grinding more for better stats on the Rakan but it is better that he is on immunity mainly because you know it's safer that way okay no more shields let's just kill this Rakan I mean this Ritesh defense breaks Alright. 33,000 on the Ritesh. Okay, yeah, that's a 3 versus 1 now. A really good defense. I mean, mainly, yeah, I think that uh, Komun was really tanky because the shield was so thick. And yeah, good thing we were able to put a defense break on him so that. You know, and then we got a turn before he was able to actually put up um, the shield again. So, yeah, that's a GG. Okay, attacking again a Komun Orion Savannah. I don't know, I want to play around with our Ciara and Gianna. So, let's bring in Ciara, Gianna, and someone. Um, I think we can be able to put and play around with bombs. Let's bring in the blusion here so that, yeah, we put a bomb, we strip because they are on violent will, and then we'll be able to bomb them all the way, right? Technically speaking, we should be good. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Here comes 
the Gianna. Okay, all buffed up with shields. Let's put a bomb on. I'm thinking the Kumun, right? Ah. Oh. Okay, resistance play. Not good. Can we go for the stun? We need stuns. Because look at the attack bars, they're all gonna move. We need stuns with the critical error here. So that when we stun and strip. Oh, but the. Of course. Of all the monsters that you're gonna harmless prank, goes to the Sian. I don't know, we have to stun this Savannah because she's gonna go for the defense breaks. And that's gonna be very dangerous, right? Okay, promise time, stun the Savannah. And wakes up out of stun. <laughs> oh man, you don't want us to play around with our bombs, so what's up with that? Where's the fun on that? Oh man. I mean, but the, the plan was pretty much foolproof. Um, that was like a lot of bombs going in. It's just that the resistance was, I don't know, RNG'd. Ah, but. Man, that was going. Ah. Rip 10 wins. And rip Gianna. Oh man. I don't know. Alright, okay, well, we're gonna hit it again. This time we are bringing in our Jean together with uh, Leo and a Diana. Okay, Leo will, yeah, uh, what do you call it? Prevent the reduction of attack bars from the Savannah. And then at the same time, we will play resistance lead with our Jean, who's going to provide us with some of the CCs and, you know, craft provocation. So, up, oh, LD not 5 no pack is attacking. Bringing in a Zyros, Galleon, and a Tiana. That's a nice team. Flo Mazzi with the Olivia, Lulu, and Bulldozer. Yeah, Zyrus would have been good, but our Zyrus is on a despair focus set. So, yeah, let's try this again. A Jean, Leo, and Diana. Man. Yeah, let's see if RNG will be on our side or not. Let's go, G G G G G G unit. Here comes Leo, there goes the Orion Harmless Prank, defense break, goes for the critical link. Alright, let's go Diana. Will we get a Diana train of the Savannah? Oop, cry for evocation, provokes please. Alright, invincibility. Now we are able to CC them. And we can go work on this Savannah. Here come the Diana train. 2000 per hit. 100% critical rate on the Diana, of course. Okay. Let's get that Savannah off the beast. I'm not afraid of the Savannah anymore. So we will hit onto the Orion. Okay, she's like, what, you're not afraid? Okay, let's go proc some more. But the procs are going back and forth. Yeah, I mean, but the resistance play though. I mean, yeah, that was a foolproof plan. Strip, stun, and bomb. Okay, now we're getting the Diana train off. Kill this Orion. So that... Yeah, mainly we get rid of the defense breaks. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna build Orion, minimum speed, I don't know, maybe as high as you can, of course. I mean, in these 
top tier siege battles again i've seen violent set plus 180 speed <laughs> yeah i mean i don't even know how these op players get those stats but yeah they grind a lot and it's not in the monsters it's all in the runes i'm telling you I mean, of course, the monsters do play a big part in it, but yeah, mainly it's really the runes. Because you can't find, or you will be able to find, whatchamacallit, um, different teams against these defenses, but if you have better runes, then at the end of the day, you will be able to beat them. Oh man. Yep, and that's the last of our monster attacks for today. Um, yeah, GG. Oh, by the way, if you are um, Catholics, happy Easter to you guys. It's the, what, Easter Octaves right now. And then, yeah, if not, then just, yeah, we're wishing you a great week ahead. We hope you're doing good. Please leave a comment and we want to hear from you guys, like how you guys doing. Yeah, please do stay safe and continue to take care of yourselves and your loved ones. Alright, and that is the last of our monster attacks for today. Yeah, we did it pretty good, um, but rip 10 wins. We will wait for the results of this siege battle. OP Candy. GG well played to Candy House and Playthings. It's been a very interesting siege battle with all those beast monks. And now it's time for our SSS trophy box. Yep, welcome to the boss hotel, Forky. And I'm gonna be picking that box right beside you. I'm hoping you give me that shiny box luck. We got what? Six boxes remaining. We've got, I don't know, 15% uh, chance. Ay, ay, ay. Oh man, <laughs> such a blue. Okay, at, at least we got excessive summoning stones. <laughs> yeah, let's see the other boxes from our guildies. And, okay, that's it for today. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content. If there's anything you want to see, please do leave a comment and let us know. And again, thank you for watching. Have a great week ahead. May the force be with you. We will see you on the next one.